Finding n term given the sequence of numbers. Question. What is the 68 term in the sequence given the first five terms 3, 8, 13, 18, 23? Para masolve ang problem na to, we need first to find the rule. So ano kaya ang rule para mabuo ang sequence na 3, 8, 13, 18, 23? So there are steps in solving for the rule in this sequence. First step, i-arrange natin ang sequence sa isang table. Kasama na dito ang order or their position. Ang A sub 1 ay first term, ang A sub 2 ay second term, and so on. So sa ating given sequence, ang first term ay 3, second term ay 8, hanggang sa fifth term na 23. That is the first step. Second step, is get the difference between the terms. So the difference between the first consecutive two terms, 3 and 8, is 5. And the difference between 8 and 13 is also 5. The difference between 13 and 18 is 5. And the difference between 18 and 23 is 5. So, mapapansin ninyo, pare-parehas ang mga differences. So ang tawag sa kanila ay common difference. And base sa napag-aralan ninyo noong kayo ay mga grade 8 or grade 7 pa lamang, ang mga ganitong sequences ay tinatawag na linear. In this case, we need to use the rule A sub n is equal to A n plus B. Ito ang ginagamit na rule kapag linear ang sequence. So, if the differences are all equal, use the rule a sub n is equal to a n plus b. In this rule, a sub n is equal to a n plus b, ang kailangan lang natin kunin dito ay ang values ni a at saka ni b. Na kung saan ang value ni a ang common difference at ang value naman ni b ay maaring i-compute using a term in the sequence. Okay, let's try to solve for a and b. So, as I had said, ang A ay common difference. And based sa second step natin dun sa table, ang common difference ay 5, which means ang value ngayon ni A ay 5, which left us to solve for the remaining, which is B. Ano kaya ang B? So, paano kaya masasolve si B? So, to solve for B, we need to use one term in the sequence. Maari natin gamitin si a sub 1 is equal to 3. O di kaya ang second term na 8, third term na 13. O di kaya ang fifth term which is 23. Pwede tayo gumamit ng kahit anong isa sa mga terms. So, in my example, I will use the first term which is a sub 1 is equal to 3. So, to solve for b, gagamitin natin ang rule na a sub n is equal to a n plus b and given na yung a sub 1 is equal to 3 natin in which n is equal to 1 at given na rin yung a which is equal to 5. So, by substituting the values to the, uh, to the rule, we have a sub 1 is equal to 5 times 1 plus b in which a sub 1 is equal to 3. So, 3 is equal to 5 times 1 plus b and continuing the process, makukuha natin na ang value ng b ay negative 2. So, we are now done with b which is equal to negative 2. So, wala na tayong problema. We have now the values of a and b. At ang kailangan na lang natin gawin ay i-substitute yan sa rule. Which is a sub n is equal to a n plus b. So, upon substituting, Ang makukuha natin ay a sub n is equal to 5n plus negative 2. And simplifying further, we got a sub n is equal to 5n minus 2. So ang rule ngayon ng sequence na may first terms na 3, 8, 13, 18, 23 ay a sub n is equal to 5n minus 2. Pero hindi dyan natatapos ang problem kasi ang problem what is the 68 term in the sequence with the first terms 3, 8, 13, 18, 23? 
So, madali na lang to. Given na yung rule at ang n natin ay 68, so, isusubstitute na lang natin siya sa rule which is a sub n is equal to 5n minus 2 at ang sagot ay 338.